The Rotary Club of Niagara-on-the-Lake is holding another incredible fundraiser. And what better place to hold it than the gatehouse in Old Town? I had a chance to speak to Lynn Legale, who is one of the organizers of the event. This fashion show was organized by the Rotary in Niagara-on-the-Lake, and the purpose of it is to raise funds for polio inoculations to try to eradicate polio once and for all. Um, we've been successful at conquering type 2 and type 3 polio in the world, but in some of the war-torn countries, some of, uh, polio type 1 has sprung up again, and all of the funds are being contributed to Rotary International, who are tackling this problem on a world wide basis. I'm a member of the Rotary and I'm one of the members of the organizing team and we're also trying to make it a, a fun day as you can see for the ladies who attend and uh, the Bella Grace who have worked with us on the fashions have just been delightful to work with and, and uh, they're providing some things that ladies can't resist I'm sure. How did you get involved with today's auction? It was actually uh, both myself and Howie from the Rotary. We came up with the idea of doing a fundraiser through a fashion show. So I provided all of the uh, clothing today for from Bella Grace Boutique here in Niagara on the Lake for the fashion show. And uh, with Howie and everyone at Rotary, we've been able to put this event together to raise money for polio. I understand you're a master of ceremonies today. What does that entail specifically? Um, well, I'll be uh, thanking everyone for coming. Um, I'll be announcing uh, the fashions that will be coming out. Uh, we have a wonderful uh, performance uh, person by the name of David Dwan, who's going to be playing some music for us. Uh, a very gifted, talented um, newcomer to our country. Um, and uh, I'll be thanking everyone for being here. Ooh, the Rotary, uh, their, man, their mandate is really to raise funds to assist where needed in the world. A lot of the work that we do is international, and we also do things locally, like Rotary Rocks Park right here in Niagara and the Lake. And we just recently contributed uh, $2,000 to the Syrian refugee cause for a new Syrian refugee family that are arriving next week to Canada. And so there's... A, we, com we combine our efforts with things that are needed on a local basis and things that are needed internationally throughout the world. Uh, the next big fundraiser will be the Rotary House Tour, which is a tradition in Niagara-on-the-Lake, and that's coming up early in December, and, uh, and uh, Lorna is the organizer of that and does an outstanding job, and last year we raised over $100,000 at that event, and I know they're targeting the same amount this year. Um, next fundraiser is our Rotary Holiday House Tour, which will be held on December 6th and December 7th. And we have six houses decorated by either local decorators or this year we actually have two houses that are decorated by the owners. And as well as the six houses, we have a VIP tour which is in the evening, both Friday evening and Saturday evening, which um, is the MacArthur residence on John Street. And the owners open their house up for um, those two evenings, and it's three stories. It's a fabulous, fabulous house, uh, three stories with uh, uh, what we're calling a winter wonderland in the back, which has um, converted horse stables. It's now reindeer stables, and uh, that's a surprise there. It has Santa's workshop. Uh, the owner is giving uh, gifts, and there will be Santa there. Coral um, choristers wandering around the grounds singing carols. So tickets, etc. Um, all our tickets this year will be sold online, and uh, no tickets will be sold in any of the venues. Um, and we normally get about 4,000 people, and uh, tickets are we've half sold our tickets already. So it's going to be the big push now from now until December. Today has been a wonderful afternoon of fashion and fundraising. Thank you to the Rotary Club of Niagara-on-the-Lake for organizing this event and helping a cause. Don't forget their next big event is the Holiday House Tour. For more information, be sure to visit their website. In Niagara-on-the-Lake, reporting for The Source, I'm Kennedy Reynolds.